eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of NASA's New Horizons spacecraft on a decade-long voyage to visit the planet Pluto and then beyond. Plus 15 seconds. Everything continues to look good as the Atlas V vehicle climbs away from Florida's east coast. The five solid rocket strap-on boosters are burning just fine, sending the New Horizons spacecraft on its way to the very edge of our solar system. T plus 35 seconds. T plus 40 seconds. One minute into flight. Boosters throttle back to 75% thrust. SRB chamber pressures continue to look good. And SRB4 is burning out and all chamber purses are responding. And we have Boda, RD-180 is throttling up to 100% thrust. T plus one minute, 45 seconds. Everything we continues to look good. One, two, Boosters three, have just jettisoned. Four, five. Solid separation looks good. Main stage still running fine. T plus two minutes and counting. Attitude rates look good. Start ground system securing. Vehicle is currently fine at 33 nautical miles in altitude, 39 miles downrange, at a speed of 4,780 miles per hour. Status check for pad entry. Booster bus Atlas and battery voltages are stable. Tank Ready. pressures are good. Atlas propulsion. Ready. Atlas hydraulics. Next event, we'll be firing the RCS pyro valve, pressurizing that system for flight, and throttling to maintain a constant 2.5G acceleration. Ready. Centaur LH2. Ready. As gas systems. And we fired the pyro valve. FTS. Ready. And we've gone throttling to maintain constant 2.5Gs. Systems pressurizing normally for flight level. Vehicle's currently at 50 nautical miles in altitude, 59 miles nautical, nautical miles downrange at 6,800 miles per hour. Range track looks good, right down the middle of the track. Launch plus three minutes. 20 seconds to payload for Jetson. Vehicle currently accelerating at 2.6 Gs. We have boom ordnance firing. We have payload fern jettison, two good brake wires. And CFR deck jettison. Booster has begun to throttle to 100% thrust. This will be followed by a 5G throttle segment momentarily. Vehicle's currently at 67 nautical miles in altitude, 78 nautical miles downrange, flying at 9,800 miles per hour. We've begun accelerating to 4.8, 5.0Gs. 5G throttle segment looks good. Boost phase showdown has begun. Our all 10 pump temperatures look good in response to chill out. We've begun throttling to 4.6Gs in preparation for BECO. Boost phase chill down is complete. And we have Beacon engine shutdown looks good. We have retro rockets and stage separation, clean separation. We have locks and fuel pre-start. We have the GN2 purge firing. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL10. Sensors 
since our steering has been enabled, correcting out some small attitude rates from separation. Centaur PU has been commanded to fix the angles for the early portion of this 5 minute and 23 second burn. RCS line temperatures look good in response to our warming firings. Centaur is currently flying at 93 nautical miles in altitude. Downrange distance is 591 miles per miles. The speed is currently 14,545 miles per hour. Range track looks good right down the middle corridor. Centaur tank pressures are stable. Helium storage bottle pressures look good. Bus and battery voltages are good. Centaur operation continues to look very good as we approach closed loop control portion of the Centaur burn for the Centaur PU. And the PU has gone to closed loop control, however it continues to request an oxidizer rich mix ratio. This is expected for the majority of this first burn. Centaur tank pressures look good, storage bottle pressures are good, bus and battery voltages are stable. Centaur has begun its role to optimize vehicle telemetry. Roll rates look good. Expecting the format change momentarily. And we've had the format change, just a small drop in data. Data quality looks very good at this point, the mission. And we continue to see the appropriate signatures and levels on the RCS system in response to the warming firings. Engine operation looks nominal. Chamber pressures are good. Pump discharge pressures look excellent. FTS, FTS AGC signals look good, strong signals. Centaur operation continues to be very normal. Two minutes remain in this first burn of the Centaur. All systems look very good at this point in flight. Centaur is currently flying at an altitude of 110 nautical miles. Downrange distance is 13,770 nautical miles. Speed is 16,234 miles per hour. Vehicle range track continues to look good, flying right along the, the predicted flight path. Our all 10 engine performance continues to look very good. <coughs> Chamber pressures are good. One minute to Miko. Centaur is currently at 110 nautical miles in altitude, 1,628 nautical miles downrange, flying at a speed of 16,852 miles per hour. about 30 seconds to Miko at this point. Centaur PU continues to control on the oxidizer rich side. 
engine operation looks very good in response. And we have main engine cutoff. Engine shutdown looks good. We have 4S settling. Hydrogen tank pressures are being vented as expected. Bus and battery voltages are stable. Storage bottle pressures look good. And we have RF disable on the Centaur as well. Centaur has begun its turn to the MES-2 attitude and has begun its one degree per second PTC roll. This will continue for the duration of this 19 minute and 45 second coast. And we have data return at this point. Data signal looks good.
and Centaur continues to settle with forest thrusters. Uh, in a, about 50 seconds, it should begin to uh, yes. ramp down to a 25% duty cycle. At this point, uh, RCS looks to be operating nominally. Okay. Tank pressures are good. Got it. Thank Storage bottle pressures are good. Bus and battery voltages are good. Vehicle attitude rates look very good. Continuing to roll at one degree per second. This is Atlas Launch Control at T plus uh, 15 minutes, 30 seconds, and counting, and everything went well with our uh, launch ascent phase for the New Horizons spacecraft as it's uh, being pushed out toward the planet Pluto. At this time, uh, the, we're in a coast phase that will extend uh, to uh, T plus 32 minutes for another, uh, roughly another 15 or 16 minutes. And during this time, we are going to be uh, showing some replays of our successful launch of the Atlas V rocket and the New Horizons spacecraft. We have about 11 views that we'll be uh, showing you, so that will be coming up next. And then we'll be coming back uh, in about uh, 15, 16 minutes uh, for uh, further activities with the uh, uh, start again of the Centaur uh, second stage. We will be listening to uh, live uh, uh, telemetry call-outs as they occur in real time. Plus battery voltages are stable. <laughs> 